Step one, remove drain bolt. Step two, remove the oil filter. You can either use a channel lock, which is what I usually use, or you can use a uh, oil filter socket. Now let it drain for a few minutes. Wipe off the area that the oil filter sits on. Make sure it's nice and clean. Install new oil filter. Make sure this O-ring right here is intact and lubricated. And tighten it when the o-ring touches give it another three quarters to a full turn clean your drain bolt install a new drain bolt washer wipe down where the drain bolt washer sits Screw in the drain bolt. Start it by hand. Tighten drain bolt. Wipe off any old oil. I like to spray it down with some brake clean. One thing I like to do is to see exactly how much oil came out. So I have some idea of how much goes back in. I could, with this one, I'll start with uh, two and a half quarts and then add as I need to. Next step, we're gonna add oil right here in the fill hole. And we're gonna do it so that the oil shows up about halfway through in the window. Place the cap. Now we're going to start the bike and let it idle for about five to ten seconds. We're looking to make sure that oil light goes away. Bingo. So after I let the bike sit for a couple minutes, the oil will settle down again. I'll top it off somewhere between the lower line right here and the upper line. So basically anywhere in the middle is fine. Generally speaking, you wanna check your oil level upright and level. I like to set my oil level between a half to about two thirds of the way up. Replace cap. You all set. <laughs> 